Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to create interactive hotspots on diagrams and images in Microsoft PowerPoint. Here we have our assets already ready. I've got my large picture of the KFC and two objects here, text about the drink and text about the burger. Now the trick here is I want these to animate but based on a trigger of the drink and the burger and the problem at the moment is they are part of the wider picture and can't be the trigger. So what we need to do is we need to overlay an invisible shape onto the Pepsi and onto the burger to become the um, trigger that we click on. So what I'm going to do first of all is insert shapes and I want a freeform shape. Now I'm just going to roughly go around the edge of the drink. This will be the area that people will click on. Next we need to animate this text box as a result of clicking on this blue shape. Okay now if I click on the blue shape and go to design not design, it's um, format and selection pane. We can see at the moment this blue shape is called freeform shape one. Now that's no good. If you've got lots of hotspots on your page, you're going to get confused as to which are which. So let's rename that. I could just call that drink hotspot. There we go. Now I'm going to click on my text box. I'm going to go to animations, open the animations pane. Don't need that anymore. And I want an entrance animation. So let's just say fade in. And here it is. The drink text box is going to fade in. That's an entrance animation. At the moment, clicking anywhere on the page will cause that to happen. What we want is this blue shape to be the trigger. So I'm going to click on the animation, go to trigger, and instead I'm going to say on click of the drink hotspot. So now the trigger is a drink hotspot to cause this to animate. Let's just see if that's worked. Yes it has. I'm going to do the same again. This time though we want it to exit. So we're going to choose an exit animation. In fact I need to press add animation here. If I was if I choose it from here, it will replace the animation. Don't want to do that. I want a new one. So add animation, fade out. At the moment, the whole page is a trigger, the slide. I'm going to drag it here. Now we can see the trigger is the drink hotspot. That's this blue shape. We have entrance and exit. Let's see if that's worked. It has. And the final trick is to get rid of this blue shape. Now here's where you could go wrong. If you choose no shape fill, there we go, no fill, you would think that clicking in here would work. It won't. If the shape has no fill, that shape is now hollow. If I was to click in the middle here, nothing would happen. Only the edges would happen because that's where the shape is. That's no good. So we do need to have a shape fill. The trick is to go to more fill colors the trick is to make it completely transparent so it has got a fill you just can't see it we're also going to remove the outline now let's see if that works so the shape is there but it's 100 percent transparent click it and click it and that's how we make our interactive hotspots for your diagrams and images course it's more useful than just for a picture of KFC uh, you could have an educational diagram maybe if you click on Australia we get the additional information or it could be a visible hotspot we could have this shape as a trigger to animate another shape and we can keep going on so possibilities are endless